Hello everybody, two years ago I made a video asserting that Blender was incapable of being used for mass manufacturing modeling. However, in light of recent advancement, I'm compelled to retract my previous statement. In this new video, I will showcase how Blender with the aid of specific add-on and processors can indeed be utilized for creating potentially manufacturable models. Okay, let's start. Basically, Blender's inability to support mass manufacturing was primarily attributed to the absence of NURBS-based export options such as STEPS and IGS formats. Fortunately, this limitation can now be overcome by installing the export IGS add-on, of which its download page is being shown on screen now. You can Refer to the link below this video to go to this page. To download the appropriate OS version of this add-on, simply click on its uh, respective link. I've already downloaded the Windows version. To install the add-on, simply go to Preference, click on Install and then navigate to where you have downloaded the add-on. Okay. Select the zip file, click install add-on, and enable it by clicking on the tick sign. And that's it. Okay, I'm going to use this model that I created a long time ago using Blender to demonstrate the conversion to IGS NURBS and as you can see this model is made up of primary subdivision method and what I'm going to do is to apply the subdivision levels value of 2 to the model before I export it out as an IGS file ok so let's Go to object mode and at the modifier, I'm going to apply the subdivision surface modifier. And you can see that, yeah, this is the density of the polygon. Let's export this model out via the export, export IGS. I'm going to save it to. video cam IGS okay, export IGS and now let's head over to Rhino and bring in the file video cam IGS you can see that it's are reading quite a lot of entities okay, it's in. I'm going to click the zoom extends let's go to shade Okay, you can see that uh, the model is pretty dense and let's just select one of the piece of the part and if you turn on the points you can see that yeah it's actually a, a NURBS piece okay the individual pieces are actually NURBS okay uh, let me just confirm this by typing the what command and then select this to display its property. Okay, from the what command we can see that yeah, it's NURBS. In fact, it's a single span NURBS. Degree 3 CB count 4. So these are single span uh, NURBS surfaces. Yeah, NURBS is the essential format for manufacturing. So from here we can see that we can actually use uh, Blender for downstreaming or working with other cat packages so let's head over to blender again to see whether we can reduce the number of surfaces that has been created in the process so what I'm going to do is I'm going to undo the application of the modifier okay okay so yeah I have um, 
and did to the stage prior to the application of the subdivision modifier so now what I want to do is to actually bring the value down okay let's say bring it to zero and you can see that what we have now is something that is uh, blockish okay and I'm going to export this blockish configuration and see whether are we able to get a smooth result okay let's go to file export IGS again this time I'll call it as a low resolution okay low res okay and let's import Okay, import this video cam low res and you can see that yeah we have a lower res version being brought in so depending on the situation you might want to actually change the levels value of the subdivision modifier so I reckon we may not even need to have something so dense uh, less dense model might just do the trick. Okay, let's just go to analyze surface zebra to check the surface quality. And you can see, yes, generally the connectivity of the individual pieces are set to curvature. Okay, nice smooth blends. Okay, so um. It might be ideal for nice smooth output however there are some discontinuity as you can see over here and let me turn off this and that will pertain to those area where there is a multi-sided convergence of surfaces okay so let's do the zebra analysis again and see whether a denser model can produce a better result in terms of surface continuity or not okay it appears that the denser model seems to have better continuity in this next demo I want to demonstrate how we can get the exported model to have regions with uh, sharp creases or edges okay, as you can see on screen I've already created this shape and I'm going to apply a subdivision modifier let's set it to 3 okay so we got something like that and if I were to export this model out what we'll get is something that is like very rounded over here and if in your design what is desired is actually the sharp edges around the base here what we can do is to actually add multiple segments on the same location I'm going to demonstrate this okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to press the Control plus R key to execute the loop cut okay I'm going to click here I'm going to bring this down and now we got a little bit around and if you want to get this even more sharp you can press the control plus R again okay so now I have like applied uh, two loop cut in the same location to give this a very sharp feeling okay and I can now actually reduce the levels value to something very blockish and export the model out let's see the result okay okay so now I have this I'm going to export as IGS okay maybe I call it as a flat base Okay, and now head over to Bino. Go to File, Import, Flat Base. Let's 
to make things. Okay. Yeah. You can see now we have a model with a very flat base. Even though the the form that we exported from Blender is something like like this. Okay. This is because we have multiple segment on the same region over here so this has resulted in the creation of a model with a crease or a flat base in this case here with that i come to the end of this uh, demo hope that's been useful see you bye